This video is about multiplying with generic rectangles. Now, once again, many of you have strategies on how to multiply two-digit number times a two-digit number. However, if you learn the strategy, one, it's a great strategy in general, multiplying, and it will also set you up when you get into algebra. And um, maybe I'll just show you a little example on that too. So it's a great strategy beyond just as a multiplying two digits by, by two digits. So the first thing we're going to do when we multiply using a generic rectangle is we're going to take each number and we're going to do what's called decomposing it. And you may remember from science that decompose means to break down. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our numbers and we're going to break them down into smaller bits. So we're going to break it down by the units places. So this is 42 means 40 plus 2, and 35 means 30 plus 5. And then we're going to put those numbers on the side. So we're going to have one side. It doesn't matter which is which. Uh, one side will be the 42, so it'll be the 40 plus 2. And the other side will be the 30 plus 5. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply each kind of um, piece together, and then we're going to add those pieces back together. So we're kind of breaking it down and then we're going to build it back up. So the first thing is I have 30 times 40, so that's 1,200. This next, so once again, I'm taking these two pieces and multiplying them together. The next square is the 2 times the 30, so that's 60. The next square is 40 times the 5, so that's 200. And once again, you can think about 5 times 4 is 20. And this is 10 times larger, so 200. And then the last square, 2 times 5, so 10. And then I'm going to take my pieces and I'm going to add them up. Um, for me, I just, you know, sometimes you can just kind of do some quick addition here. So I can see this is 1,400. So the 1,200 plus the 200 is 1,400 plus 70. So my final answer is 1,470. And I can do a quick check also, like you could have done an estimating originally saying, oh, I have like 40 times you know, 30 is about 1,200. 40 times, if I was estimating 4 times 40, would be 1,600. So it's going to be, my answer is going to be somewhere in there. And I can see that my final answer is, so my answer makes sense. You always want to be checking with multiplication, whether it's with a calculator or on paper. Does your answer make sense? And a quick way to do that is by having an estimate and comparing it with that. So let's do another problem. Okay. So one idea is you can actually kind of set this up and then hit the pause button to see if you're setting it up properly. So hit the pause button. Okay, so I'm assuming you've done a little bit. And once again, you can kind of pause and kind of anticipate what I'm doing, and then that will kind of really help you understand uh, make sure that you're understanding it properly as opposed to just like following along going, oh yeah, I understand, I understand, but then when you do it yourself, you're lost and confused. So first step, you're going to decompose. So 50, 6 is 50 plus 6. So on one side, I'm going to do 50 plus 6. And 21, breaking it down into the, the different place values, is 20 plus 1. So on the other side, 20 plus 1. And once again, I can estimate ahead of time to give myself a sense of how big my number is going to be. So it's like 50 times 20 is about 1,000. This was 60 times 20. That's uh, 1,200. So my answer is going to be somewhere between those numbers. So the first piece, and I'm wondering if, if color would kind of maybe help show what I'm doing. So I'm going to grab some highlighters. This might help <laughs> Maybe not, I'll see. Um, so the first number, what I'm doing is I'm taking this 50 and the 20, and I'm multiplying those together. So this is 1,000. The next number, what I'm doing is I'm taking the 50 times the 1. So that's 50. And... For the second part, I've got the 6 times the 20, 
which is 120. And the 6 times the 1. And then I'm going to add my pieces. So I broke the pieces down first. I multiply them out, and now I'm going to add the pieces back together. So this is 1,050 plus 126. And adding those together, I get 1,176. I check back with my original kind of estimate, and I'm in that zone there. And as I said, you may have strategies already for multiplying a two-digit number times a two-digit number. But where this is going to lead you is eventually when you get into algebra, you're going to be multiplying things like x plus 1 times x plus 2. So it's already kind of decomposed, kind of looking like this, this number times this number. So it's going to be the exact same strategy, but obviously with that extra layer of complexity with the uh, variables in there. So once again, it's a great strategy to learn how to do this, and then they'll have some really nice applications when you get into algebra. Okay. Once again, you can make your own problems up, and then you can just check with a calculator. So that's something that I would recommend. Make a couple more up like this two-digit numbers, try it out, and then just check with the calculator, also checking with the nest.